everybody and welcome to RITF Gaming. This is Retro Rip episode 12 where by popular request of the uh, Google Plus vote you guys by 67 to 33% voted that today's game would be Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. Um, I am actually having Izzy helping me out in this video again but she's off getting addicted to the original arcade version. She hasn't put it down for ages. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's get down to the game. Ah yes, Pac-Man. Namco's smash hit of 1980 set the world on fire with its fantastic graphics, at least for the time, and full of sound and colour and, most importantly, super addictive gameplay. Yeah, people would queue up for ages just to play this game, and no wonder. And then there's the Atari 2600. For everything the arcade original did, this subsequent 1981 port didn't. I'll be honest, comparing this to the arcade original, there's no competition. I know that it's underpowered, obviously, but even so. Well, yeah, and let's be honest, the Genia Pac-Man cartridge does a far better job of replicating a true Pac-Man experience. Um, the colour just doesn't factor into this version, and they didn't even manage to get that right. Surely that isn't too hard. Exactly, and there's so much flicker on the ghost sprites that it's crazy. But, in fairness, it's still got that fantastically attractive Pac-Man undertone. Sure, it doesn't live up to the arcade version, and especially in the sound department. It's really disappointing. For example, the huge difference between the arcade Junior Pac-Man and 2600 Pac-Man intros. Here, just have a quick listen. <laughs> inspiring intro the Atari one has there. Absolutely rubbish. And let's be honest, it wasn't exactly like the early days of the Atari 2600. That would be understandable, you know, when you take into account that it's underpowered nature compared to practically anything. Um, but it's not early days. It, it was three years after the release in the UK and four years after the American launch, so I don't understand, you know, just what they were going with. I mean, some of the things don't make any sense, like the colour palettes changing. I mean, you've seen it. It's just so dull. I mean, ugh. It's, it's just so unfun to play. Even with the Pac-Man pedigree, it's just not really very fun at all. I mean, it isn't terrible, don't get us wrong, but when you compare it to anything else similar on the Atari, like Miss Pac-Man or Junior Pac-Man, the sprite flicker really does get on your nerves and has made my eyes hurt before. So, the final verdict for Pac-Man on the Atari 2600, when you rating system going from top to bottom, timeless classic, classic, hidden gem, average below average, Mediocre, poor, and Atomic Turd Burger right at the bottom. Getting onto that list, Pac Man 2600 scores a final rating of below average. Despite the fact it's not too bad to play, it just doesn't feel like it has anywhere near the elements that made the original Pac Man so much fun. And it seems crazy, but when you notice what you're missing and go back and play the original Pac Man, I mean, as Izzy and I proved earlier, um, not obviously on camera, but we proved, you know, it's very, very addictive going back to it. Once you realise just how much the sound and the colour, it all adds to the atmosphere and that makes the game very enjoyable. As with always, check out the social media links which will be in the description below, and happy gaming. Goodbye!